probably if I'd have known I was going to do that, I would have done something other than where the. Well, don't worry about it then. Just just are. introduce me and, and all right, I'll go. All right, how how's my audio? Sounds good. Okay. And good evening and welcome back to Continual. We're having another fun Publishers Roadshow and I'm here with Chris Kennedy from Chris Kennedy Publishing. That's an original name, Chris. Where'd you come up with the name for the <laughs> publishing company? Well, I tell you, if I if I had it to do over, um, that's probably the one thing I would change. Um, you know, I'd, I'd probably go with something like High Orbit Publishing, our books take you to outer space or, or something, you know, classy and cliche and I can make up cool things um unfortunately i'm i'm so far into it now that it's you know it's irretrievable it's it's what i've got and you know that's what i'm going to go with and you know i i use a number of different imprints to to break it up anyway so uh i try and focus more on the imprints and in what they're doing than uh necessarily my name Let's say you know you can always go kennedy space center put up a little space shuttle next to it that'd be cool that, that'd be very cool if you're gonna go with the kitsch go with the kitsch yeah oh absolutely uh that that'd be awesome um ben i was there i guess last year um before all of the madness started and um you know we were hoping to get down there again in the spring um take the rv down and and go stay for a week or two before it gets too god awful hot um you know and, and maybe catch a launch yeah i haven't been down it's been several years since i've been down for a launch but i, I caught a number of shuttle launches which was fun so back in the day yeah so, i wish I, I like i said i was lucky enough to see a couple of shuttle launches so yeah and see it and see several on the pad get up close to see them on the pad um, very cool yeah we we saw a launch last year and and that was you know, every bit as impressive as, as I had hoped it would be um, and, and would really love to see, you know, some of the SpaceX things go, um, you know, probably working their way up to some pretty big ones here soon. So that'd be cool. Well, seeing what they're doing with the Dragon capsules. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, they're moving fast. Yeah, they are. And, and I'd love to go see it in the making. I was, I was bummed. Uh, one of the last ones came up the East Coast and uh, I didn't find out until five minutes after it passed the house. Ah, I have watched him do a couple of the Starlink deploys. So, so what have you got for us tonight? Um, well, I guess we'll we'll give kind of a, a recap of what we did in 2020 in case uh, some people missed things, um, and and take a look at uh, where CKP is is going in 2021. Well, Chris, appreciate you coming and hanging out with us tonight, and I'll turn it over to you. Well, hey, thanks very much for having me. Great to be here. All right, so <laughs> nice picture of the dog. Um, 2020, um, as, as I'm sure it is for everyone else, was uh, um, somewhat of a hard year, but uh, it, it ended up being a pretty good one for CKP. Um, had uh, the most number of launches ever, uh, number of releases. We had 66, um, which topped the other one. Uh, last year was uh, 44, so uh, half again as many as the year before. So it was, uh, it was a big year. Um, implemented a couple new imprints, a um, couple new shared universes. Um, and, and things are going along really well. And, and I'm really looking forward to um, uh, 2021. Things are, are kind of starting to turn back around a little bit. There was uh, you know, a dip in some sales uh, that, that we've kind of played through um, and, and it looks like things are turning back around. So I'm excited about that and, and looking forward to the new year. Um, we'll, we'll start with the, the shared universes. Um, which probably are, are some of the things that uh, CKP is best known for. Um, the, the first and foremost of which is the Four Horsemen universe. Um, I didn't see how many titles, I didn't look up how many titles we had last year, but I think it was uh, 18 or 19 in the universe um, for a total of over 60 now. Um, the, the series is going along well. Uh, there is the main series. There's also some some other um, 
uh, other stories that uh, are, are on the side that will be tied in um, as well as some anthologies. Um, typically, uh, we do an anthology or two every year um, that are open to um, open to open for submissions. Uh, we will probably do that again here early in 2021. So uh, if the Four Horsemen universe is, is your thing and, and you want to be a published author in it, uh, start thinking about what uh, you're going to write a short story on because that'll be coming um, probably in the next couple of months. Uh, so that we can get it in by about summertime. Um, we'll probably also have another one that that won't be uh, that we won't be looking for submissions for, um, but typically we do at least two a year. Um, the first book in the Four Horsemen universe uh, is um, January twenty second, um, and and then they'll start rolling out probably every three to four weeks for the rest of the year. Um, kind of like what we were doing for the last couple of years. Um, the, the last uh, month and a half, two months, we, we kind of had a hiatus um, as, as all of the uh, authors in the universe kind of were working on something else. Um, but it looks like everybody's back and, and we should be rolling them out pretty, uh, pretty steadily throughout the year. Um, Big year for the Four Horsemen Universe. Uh, also, you can see over my back right there uh, are three of the Four Horsemen Universe games. Uh, we ran a Kickstarter a couple of years ago and, and finally got the games out. Um, there is an RPG that, uh, a role playing game that is um, on the horizon in the Four Horsemen Universe now that we've got uh, that game rolled out. Um, and there'll probably be a Kickstarter for it here in the next few months. Uh, next shared, shared universe uh, is the Kane Riordan universe um, from Beyond Terra Press that uh, is Chuck Gannon's universe. Um, we did the Murphy's Lawless uh, series this year. Uh, this past year had six novellas, um, which we then bundled up into one. Chuck Gannon added another 40,000 words, um, and it came out as Murphy's Lawless. Um, it's a it's a beast at uh, 225,000 words, um, but but a great story and one that I was really excited to be part of. Not only as a publisher, but uh, one of the six novellas was mine. Um, hopefully, everyone got a chance to take a look at that. If not, please do. Uh, the second season of Murphy's Lawless is going to be three novellas rather than six. We're going to do them in threes uh, to kind of keep them a little more manageable. Um, two of the three stories for season two are already in, um, and then uh, the, the third season will also be this upcoming year. Um, the next universe is uh, the Salvage Title universe, uh, Kevin Steverson. Um, that uh, has continued to grow this year. It's up to, I think, 15 books total. Um, so about a quarter of what um, car or quarter of the Four Horsemen universe, um, but there are a number of authors that are writing in there. Um, had a couple anthologies this year. Um, Kevin's uh, son Nick Steverson is uh, doing a, a storyline in it. He's got a couple books out. Um, Action uh, was his most recent one, which was out on Christmas Day. Um, so that's our most recent release. Uh, the big news for Salvage Title um, was that it got picked up for a movie. Um, not only one movie, but the uh, Salvage Title trilogy is going to be uh, three movies. Um, and they are actively, um, you know, working on the script and uh, looking at casting and such like that. So um, I expect to see Salvage Title out in the theaters uh, relatively soon-ish, um, you know, Hollywood time. Um, but they are actively working on it, and uh, it's not just one of those where it gets optioned and then sits on a shelf for three years. Um, this is something that um, they, the people that bought the rights to it have said, yes, we, we are going to do it, and uh, we're working on it now. So that's pretty cool. Um, there will be probably, you know, uh, I would be surprised if there weren't... Um, probably uh, eight or 10 books in the salvage title universe in the upcoming year. 
Um, the first one is as early as January 8th, um, which is Chris uh, Woods and uh, William Joseph Roberts. Uh, they are reprising um, two of their characters that were in one of the um, anthologies this past year. It's called Smuggler's Run. Um, and and they, I, I think the tagline for it is, watch out, there may be dumbassery running around here. Um, so it's, it's a couple of uh, smugglers that are trying to, to catch that one break, um, never seem to get it. Maybe they'll get it at the end. Who knows? Uh, you'll have to read it to find out. The uh, fourth uh, universe um, is the, the Fallen World, um, which uh, was started by Chris Woods. Uh, it has had, uh, I think it is up to 13 books now. Um, we'll probably have another eight or 10 also next year. Um, the, the most recent release was Blue Salvation by Benjamin Tyler Smith, um, which uh, followed on to his Blue Crucible. Um, he, I know he has a, a third book coming that will tie up that line. Uh, there is a, a book, um, a collection of Cade stories called, surprisingly enough, Cade. Uh, by Chris Woods that'll be out in February. Um, and then a number of uh, other stories that are planned and, and I know are coming out throughout the year. The uh, fifth shared universe, um, which the art is out for the first book, but uh, hasn't um, we haven't published any of them yet, um, is the Hit World Universe by uh, William Allen Webb. Um, the first book in that is called The Trash Man, um, and, and it will be out, in, uh, out on January 15th. Um, everything that you think you know, or everything that you don't know, is real. Um, it is kind of like a, a Men in Black um, meets spy thriller, meets James Bond, um, with uh, a variety of other things thrown in. Um, it is a, um, a lot of fun. Um, it is a world uh, not too long from now where uh, contract killing is legal, uh, but government sanctioned because the government needs their cut too. Um, like I said, the first book is uh, The Trash Man by uh, William Allen Webb. Uh, that'll be out middle of January. And then uh, the, the first five books I think are written Two more in, um, you know, in in progress. Uh, so they'll they'll probably be eight or nine books out this year. Um, typically, about uh, one every five weeks or so. Um, so that's um, the the shared universes. Uh, basically, if you if you like one, great. Uh, there'll be more coming this year. Um, if you haven't found one that, that fits, um, keep looking. Um, the, uh, let's see, salvage title is sci-fi. Um, the Four Horsemen universe is military sci-fi. Fallen World is kind of a post-APOC, um, post-APOC, um, after the, the world falls, obviously. Um, and Murphy's Lawless is... Uh, Sci-fi with a, a military bent, um, and then uh, Hit World is urban fantasy is probably the the closest um, closest genre, but it's it's got elements of uh, fantasy, science fiction, um, spy thriller, like I said. So it's it's a melange of different genres, um, and and is a lot of fun. Um, one of the, the things that I wanted to do in 2021, um, so far, uh, CKP, Chris Kennedy Publishing, um, has really been run by sci-fi. Um, the Four Horsemen Universe and, and Salvage Title, uh, typically at the, at the top of those. Um, I wanted to build out um, the fantasy imprint, which is new mythology. Uh, so that is something that's kind of been happening here uh, the last month of December, and then is is uh, running into 2021. Um, Barbara Evers had The Watchers of Manaya, 
the second book uh, that's in that, uh, The Watchers in Exile, will be coming out in uh, uh, at the end of January. And then the third book, um, The Watchers at War, will be out, um, looks like, uh, first of March. So you don't have to wait long for uh, that whole series to be out. Um, other things that are coming, uh, we've got Keep of Glass, um, which is by Stephen, uh, Stephen Johnson, um, which is an Arthurian uh, kind of fantasy. Um, and then there are several more that, are, um, uh, that I have that, that I can't talk about yet, but uh, you can expect to see a lot more fantasy uh, this year than uh, has been out in, in past couple of years. Um, another uh, universe that, that will be kind of big um, this year is uh, the Chimera Company of uh, Tim C. Taylor. Um, he had previously released some of these as uh, serials, um, but I've grabbed them all and, and we're putting some into uh, first book. Uh, right now he has uh, I think he is just about finished with the fourth book. Uh, fifth book is planned. And uh, then, you know, when, uh, when everybody gets a chance to see him and, and shows that they love him, uh, I think he's got another uh, couple books uh, in him for, the, uh, for that universe. Uh, the first book in that is The Fall of Roe Torcus. Um, and that should be out uh, the 5th of February. Um, so I'm, I'm personally looking forward to that. Um, I had the, um, I had the, the pleasure of writing with Tim this past year in the Four Horsemen universe. We wrote a book together. Uh, he had written a couple others that, that had uh, the same group of characters. And um, I joined him for One Minute to Midnight, uh, brought in the Golden Horde, and uh, he had his folks. And uh, we, had, we had a good time uh, banging that one out. Um, you know, and I, I like Tim, uh, I really like his writing. Uh, so when he said that that was uh, available, I grabbed hold of it. Um, let's see, what else, what else do we have here? Um, uh, once again, those, those books will probably come out, uh, the Chimera Company will, will come out about every five or six weeks. Um, so, you know, it's, it's one that, uh, you won't have won't have to wait long to uh, get your next fix. Um, see, uh, coming out. So that's uh, Keep of Glass Fantasy, the first week of January. Smugglers Run, um, which is uh, salvage title, the the second week. The Trash Man, which is Hit World, uh, third week. Sword of Minerva, which is the Four Horsemen book by Mark Wandry. Um, Watchers in Exile, um, and then um, closing out January is Lost Signals, uh, which is a, a reprint of uh, a Kane Universe anthology uh, that I now have the rights to. It was uh, previously published by Eric Flint's uh, Ring of Fire Press um, when Chuck brought over all of the, the Murphy's Lawless books. Um, I got uh, that as well. I'm going to be the the repository for everything uh, in the Kane universe that Bain doesn't have. Um, you know, Chuck's main um, main storyline is is with Bain, um, and I believe the first one is free. Um, if you want to go check it out at um, uh, at the Bain website, um, but everything that is an offshoot will be with CKP in the uh, Beyond Terra Press. Um, so February uh, starts out with the Chimera uh, Company book, Fall of Road Tarkis, Prodigal Son, which is a four horsemen universe. Remember I said they'd be coming about every three to four weeks. That, that's the second one uh, by you know February 12th. So like I promised, uh, Cade, uh, which is a collection of uh, Cade novel or Cade short stories um, in the fallen world. And then Operation Werewolf, uh, which will um, complete Stephen Johnson's um, Murphy's War uh, series, uh, which is a alternate history, sort of urban fantasy alternate history uh, with uh, the war, World War II currently finishing up in, uh, in hell. Um, then another uh, hit world, uh, the third Manaya, and then uh, off we go for the rest of, uh, rest of the year. 
Um, one thing that, that I have that's coming um, that, that's pretty neat, uh, told you that uh, the, the fantasy imprint new mythology is, is bulking up this year. Uh, one of the, the neat things that it's doing is uh, an anthology um, for Fantasy, uh, the convention, um, which hopefully, you know, we get back to doing conventions this year. Um, it is um, all of the um, guests of honor that were going to be at Fantasy. Uh, for example, uh, David Weber, uh, Larry Correa, David Butler, Chuck Gannon are in it. Um, plus a uh, cast of, of Four Horsemen authors and then, um, uh, not Four Horsemen authors, but CK, some other CKP authors like uh, Kevin Steverson um, and Rob Howell, who is uh, the co-editor with me. Um, and then uh, it, was, it was actually a contest and we took some new folks in uh, that, that had some great stories. Um, and, and that will be out at Fantasy, which is uh, March 19th. Um, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Um, for those of you that uh, liked um, the <coughs> uh, Warrior series um, uh, by David Hallquist that, that was out this year, um, there will be more in that universe. Um, coming uh, end of uh, March, uh, David Hallquist has uh, the book Guardian, um, which uh, is, is a different view, different viewpoint character um, in uh, that universe, um, which uh, then ultimately will tie into some of the events. And uh, I know he has planned to uh, bring the main character back so that you can find out what happened to him at the end. Um, let's see, uh, also during the year, um, I expect to complete uh, Casey Azell's uh, Psyche of War series. Um, she has Minds of Men um, and, um, oh golly, uh, second one just dropped out of my head. Um, uh, World Asunder, that's it. Um, so Minds of Men, World Asunder are already out. Uh, the third book, Skies to Conquer, um, should be out um, sometime this year. Um, she's had a number of different projects that she's been working on, but uh, she tells me she's close on that. So I'm looking forward to getting that and getting it out there. Uh, I think we've had the cover art now for uh, a good six or eight months. So I'm looking forward to putting a, a story with it. Um, number of other uh, stories. Um, Phil Bolger should have uh, his second one in his urban fantasy uh, series here soon. Um, Quincy uh, Allen uh, will have uh, some books in um, uh, sci-fi story uh, in, set in the salvage title universe that, that he was in a, um, one of the anthologies for. Uh, he has developed into um, its own uh, storyline. Uh, hope to have the last or maybe last, maybe next to last book in uh, Mark Wandry's um, Overture, Earth Song um, series. And uh, from, from my perspective, uh, I intend to uh, tie up the Theogony, uh, which was my own personal uh, series that started it all. Um, I hope to have the, the last book out for them. Uh, for that series uh, this year. Hopefully uh, it is about uh, a quarter done right now. Um, so by by mid spring, uh, hopefully that'll be we'll out. See. Well, Chris, uh, thanks for coming in and hanging out and hopefully we get to hang out a little bit in person this year. I hope so too. Look forward it's, to it. It's been about a year. <laughs> uh, yeah, it has. Uh, longer. It's got to have been longer. Uh, March. Yeah. Because it was uh, um, uh, the last, but yeah, that was February. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, so first beer is on me, and you can only do that. That I'll, that I can do. All righty. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>